Okay, so what's next here? Oh, we have ooh Teddy Cruz, Teddy, Ted Cruz. You know that guy? Oh yeah, he's the sexy Canadian from Texas. <laughs> sexy, really? Fuck me sideways. No, not you, Ted. Just continue with your tea baggy shenanigans. Stay out of my life. But he's back in the news, and he went on this uh, Janet Merford show for teabaggers and airheads and knuckleheads. You know, the Duck Dynasty crowd. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, he's talking about uh, gay marriage, and oh, you should see what he says. Well, he, let me play you some clips. Uh, let me see here. Okay, here's one. He's talking about gay marriage. Oh, yeah. The self-righteous... The self-righteous, uh, judgmental asshole. That's what he is. It, it, it is a, a consistent assault, and, and, and it's a, an assault that really comes from the use of power uh, to subvert our democratic system. Uh, it is... <laughs> to, so, and this is the guy that shut down the fucking government, right? He shut down Congress. If, if it was another religious zealot with a different religion, aka Muslim, with a rag on his head and a beard on his face, and he would stop and close down the government and uh, shut down the Congress and all that, what do we call that? Uh, oh yeah, terrorism. Forgot about that. Now about Cruz is talking about, oh, that's obstructing the Democrat. What the fuck are you talking about, you lunatic? <laughs> and he's the one shutting down Congress. And, uh, the Democratic process, right? Didn't the people of the United States vote for Obama? Yes. Didn't the people of the United States vote for the Senate that is in there? Yes. All right, and they also voted for the tea baggers in, Cong in the uh, House of Representatives. Yes, even though it's all gerrymandered. Uh, whatever. Jerry, what was he? <laughs> Look From it up. Advocacy groups that, that that don't have the patience to actually win an argument with the people and make the case to the American people. If oh yeah, like uh, what's what's their face? Uh, heritage action, you know, those, uh, those motherfuckers don't, don't ever come out and present their arguments to the people. They just go and, we're going to get our soldiers, our Christian soldiers after you motherfuckers. And we're going to tell them that you eat fetuses if you don't vote our way. <laughs> I, I, I. If they want to advocate for their views, the First Amendment gives them the right to advocate, but, but they don't want to wait for that. Right. Uh, instead, they just want to use brute power to force the states to take down marriage laws that have been in place for centuries. And, and that's... Uh, Talking about brute force, isn't, isn't this quackhead part of the uh, teabagger movement that wants to uh, bust all the unions, right? They want to probe women's uteruses. Oh, the brute force. Oh, and yet, this motherfucker wants to probe vaginas. What the fuck is he talking about? Oh, but they're the victims, right? Yeah. Poor heterosexuals. They're the victims of all this. Inconsistent with the Constitution. and It's, it's not right, and, and, and it's heartbreaking, because you and I both know that the, that the best environment for oh. children to be raised is, is a loving home oh, with yeah. a mother and father. That's Oh, like yours, Teddy? Oh, what a snob. What a fucking hypocrite this guy is. Well, every, every teabagger is a fucking hypocrite. What do you expect from this, uh, you know, proto-fascist movement? What do you expect? And what are they, I mean, oh yeah, they don't have any 
any organizations that are anti-gay that also disrupt the democratic process, right? Like the National Organization for Marriage, which, by the way, is refusing to disclose their donors to the voters. Uh, and uh, they're trying, oh yeah, and they break all the campaign laws. When they donate money to certain candidates, they don't want to tell you who they donated to or where they got the money from. Oh, oh yeah, but we, the homos, uh, how dare we want to get married, right? Uh, by doing so, we are disrupting the Democrat. By you taking cock, cock up the ass, you are disrupting the Democratic process. All right, you homo? You get that? Taking cock up the ass, you are disrupting the democratic process. That's what uh, Mr. Teddy Cruz is talking about, right? Oh, yeah, small government types. Oh, yeah, we're for small government freedom. And Except for you, homos. What kind of support are you getting for this particular piece of legislation? How can people support? Uh, now they're talking about this uh, bill that it's basically DOMA 2.0. DOMA? What is that? Look it up getting this passed. Uh, what would you say to listeners about that? Well, um, we, we are getting a tremendous outpouring from citizens across the country uh, who are interested in standing up and defending. How many? 30? 40? <laughs> is, that, is that? Come on. Who is it? Brian Brown and Brian Fisher and Matt and Matt from uh, Liberty Council. Elmer Fudd. Who else do they get support from? All those pedophiles from the Catholic Church. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We I forget about those people. Oh, yeah. And then the weirdo Mormons. Oh, such fine people they are, right? <laughs> I think marriage. And, and what I would encourage your listeners to do is, is stand up and speak out. Uh, pick up the phone and call your congressman, call your senator. Yeah, yeah. Pick up the phone on this important issue that doesn't concern you, right? No, don't talk about, you know, uh, that you don't have any money for groceries. Don't talk about the fact that you don't have any money for your heating bill. Uh, don't talk about the fact that prices are going up the roof or the economy is stagnant. Or Don't talk about uh, health. Don't talk about any of that shit. Go and pick up the phone and talk about these Homos, who you don't know personally, wanted to get hit. See, that's the problem in America today, according to teabaggers. Urge them to support the legislation. Uh, go to Facebook, go to Twitter, speak out, and, and speak out more generally uh, in defense of... As if they're not doing that. I mean, fucking go to... Any article that's uh, linked by the Drudge Report or on Infowars or on World Net Daily, I mean, they're speaking out all the time. What are you talking about? What are they going to speak about? Same thing. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> I'm smart. I'm for liberty, small government. But let's ban this. <laughs> our liberties in defense of the values that have made America strong. That that the uh, values that are America, right the values that made America strong, like stopping homosexuals. That's what made America strong: banning gay marriage, stopping butt sex. <laughs> what else? Oh yeah, and let's not forget stopping masturbation too. Well, these teabaggers are all obsessed about this shit more than me, by the way. You think I'm obsessed about sex? No. I just talk about it. You know, what? if it's in my mind, I let it all out. Uh, so it it could be sex, it could be history, politics, whatever. You know, but these motherfuckers, they think about sex, gay sex, like every three seconds, right? Teabaggers. What is the average uh, interval? How many times... A minute or seconds or I don't know. Uh, do guys th think about sex? I know that it's more for gay guys. We think about sex more. I think straight guys is what, like every nine seconds. I'm not sure. But for teabaggers, it's like every three seconds they're thinking about butt sex. 
either because they're obsessed with it or because they find a way to use it to uh, to get what they want, basically. Blackmail uh, the public and say, hey, if you don't uh, vote for me, they're going to have butt sex with your kids. Time to wake up and smell the tea. You know, Janet, I'm encouraged because I, I do see an awakening that is sweeping this country, a oh, grassroots movement of oh, millions of men and women who are speaking millions. out. And You mean like one million moms are headed by these 5,000 dudes? <laughs> what a jerk off, this fucking Ted Cruz. Yeah. We have millions awakening and ri- Ooh, millions are awakening and rising up. In his fantasy land, right? Yeah. And the in the tea bagger bubble you have all this. I don't know. Maybe these are uh the millions of that he's counting are the the invisible angels, you know, from the Bible. Yeah. They came down from from heaven to rescue us and stop this whole homosexual marriage. I think that's going to be the answer for turning the country around. The answer is not going to come from Washington. It's going to come from the American people, and I think that's happening right now. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for Larry the Teabagger to tell me how he's going to turn America around. <laughs> Drink more tea. I don't know. I I really hope you're right. And I, I see some of that myself. And I look, for example, what's been happening in France where people keep hitting the streets and marching in favor of, of marriage and, and, the, and the rights of children, really, to have a mom and a dad. That has had an effect. In- well, here's the thing. You heterosexuals continue to get divorced. What's this whole bit about a mom and a dad? Kids don't need mom, a mom and a dad. Believe me, I have a dad. Do you think I'm better off because I have a dad? No. What kids need, stability, uh, discipline, and guidance and direction. But these people are more fascinated with the genitalia of, of all the, of, of, of the parents or the people or the guardians of all, right? And yet I wonder why in the United States we're not seeing more of that. Oh, yeah, and the French who were protesting that shit. Oh, uh, come on. They were using babies as, as, as human shields in those protests. <laughs> Fucking jerks. Oh, yeah, why don't we do that here in America? Right. Right, 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 right. Uh, protesting, let's see. Oh, yeah. Isn't that all those teabagger rallies that they have? I mean, you can get Ted Nugent. You, you can get uh, Alex Jones and uh, Brian Fisher. and You get all these assholes to come out and support your little rally against the gays, right? Because that's what America needs today. Of course, I just figured it out how we're going to turn things around in this country. Let's go out by uh, doing uh, some fag bashing. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Well, I, you know, I think we are on the ground, but what, what is missing is leadership. And uh, the courts and the Obama administration are both pressing this assault. Uh, and they have, they have had real success undermining marriage. And, and we need to have citizens who, who want to stand up for marriage, stand up and speak out. And, and I think that is happening. Uh, and I think it's happening more broadly as as we're seeing millions of Americans who are who are recognizing that our constitutional liberties are being eroded, that, that, that the freedom and prosperity and opportunity that has made America so strong. Here we go again. Freedom. And it's like, but we have to stop these gays. <laughs> if we stop these gays, then we have freedom and enterprise like, what the fuck? Aye. Uh, now you see why people don't like the teabaggers. It's not because they're anti-gay. It's because they put this... They come up with the most stupidest, the most queer, the most bizarre solutions that no human with a rational, conscious mind will ever support in their entire lives. 
unfortunately this this litigation is is pursuing an agenda that that, that is not slowed down by the facts is not slowed down by millennia of traditional marriage being the the foundation for the family for the community. You mean polygamy marriage, right? Because that was the foundation, the tradition. Of... What about other traditions like slavery? Oh yeah, monarchy. Isn't that traditional, right? What happened to that tradition? Oh, we broke away from it. That was a very patriarchal tradition, by the way. Was it? You know, and all the conservatives back then, they were all monarchists. Uh, just to let you know, all the teabaggers of the uh, during the revolution were actually not supporting the revolution; they were supporting the monarchy. Unity, uh, and you know, I, I mean, I will say, in addition to standing up and speaking out and and passing legislation to protect marriage, I, I think the most important thing your listeners can do. Uh, it, it, it's, it's simply pray, because yeah. what we need to oh, pray. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all you can do is pray. Pray that sky gods above will come down and stop these homos. Oh, yeah, that's going to happen, right? <laughs> what a loon. What a fucking loon.